A week after stepping down the motion, Senate on Wednesday revisited the controversy surrounding the disbursement of half a trillion naira loan among the six geopolitical zones, setting up an ad hoc committee to take another look at the details of the loan and the sharing arrangement that has left some interest, especially in the north, feeling shortchanged. Senate Chief Whip Ali Ndume and 64 other senators, mostly from the north, are behind the motion, demanding equity in the sharing of the loan that left the entire north with 11%, while Lagos alone received a lion's share of 47%. The southwest got 57%, but Lagos got 47%, and other uh, five states of the southwest got 10%. South South 17%, uh, North Central 11%, South East 9%, North West 5%, and North East 1%. The loan in question came from the Development Bank of Nigeria in conjunction with a consortium of international lenders to support micro, small, and medium scale enterprises in the country. In the last eight years, committee, Senator Sanu Musa headed the committee set up in the ninth Senate again. to resolve the issue. Think, then, the his committee produced a report, the details of which are still being questioned by Ndume and others in the Tenth Assembly. In response to Ndume, some lawmakers explained that the fund was not a donation, but a loan that would be repaid with interest, and that a number of states in the North did not show sufficient interest and were unable to meet. With the requirements, hence the low percentage recorded for the region at that time. All the microfinance banks were not capitalized as one of the criteria. They don't have the capital to be able to get because there is certain counterpart funding that you have to prove you have before the bank will release that funds to you. The ownership structure of the Development Bank of Nigeria is unique. IFC, World Bank, have shares in that bank. It is not a wholly owned Nigerian Development Bank. The equity holders that I've mentioned, they set the guidelines with respect to the disbursement requirements. Okay? And in most cases, they look at the feasibility report, they look at the bookkeeping, bookkeeping, they look at the collateral requirements, and many other credit requirements, okay? And these requirements are of international standard, not Nigeria customized standard. The Senate subsequently resolved to set up another committee to investigate the alleged unfairness in the sharing of the loan and to come up with ways to accommodate zones currently feeling cheated. An amendment by Senator Sirake Dixon PDP Baeso West asking the Senate to expand the investigation to the disbursement of other loans and interventions like the Central Bank of Nigeria and Borrowers program was roundly rejected. The amendment I'm proposing is that the inquiry we're about to undertake, which I believe represents the unanimous view of the Senate, should not only be about the particular loan that is the subject matter of discussion today. We have to also use this opportunity in the national interest and in pursuit of the national objectives of inclusion, fairness, and equity, which is the, the, which is the, which is the, the principle that this motion uh, is riding on. To also look at, Mr. President, what happened to the Anchor Boras loans. Those who are in support of the additional prayers, those uh, all intervention loans, uh, those who are in, in, in favor of this uh, additional uh, ad, uh, prayer, say aye. aye. Those who are against, say nay. The nay is half it. The Senate panel has four weeks to revert on the matter. Omo Bazwai. Arise News.